Hey everyone, this is Spectre P from Spectre AI. In today's video, we're breaking down one of the most dangerous and misunderstood attacks in quantum cryptography, the man in the middle attack on QKD. Unlike purely quantum attacks, this one doesn't target the photons directly. Instead, Eve impersonates Alice and Bob at the same time hijacking the classical channel that QKD relies on. This allows Eve to run two fake quantum key exchanges in parallel, learn the key, and fool both sides, unless authentication is in place. Let's walk through exactly how this attack works, why it's so powerful, and how Alice and Bob can detect and prevent it. In BB84, Alice sends single photons over a quantum channel. But the protocol also depends on a classical channel where Alice and Bob announce their bases and sift their key. This classical communication has to be authenticated, because if it isn't, Eve can intercept it, alter it, or even impersonate Alice or Bob. The quantum channel itself may be secure, but the classical channel is where the man-in-the-middle attack begins. Here's the first step of the man-in-the-middle attack. Eve intercepts all of Alice's photons, and then she pretends to be Bob on the classical channel. Alice believes she's communicating with the real Bob, so she openly sends her bases and sifting messages straight to Eve. This gives Eve everything she needs to run her own BB84 session with Alice, while Alice has no idea she's talking to an imposter. Now, Eve begins the second half of the attack. After intercepting all of Alice's photons, Eve starts a new BB84 session with Bob. But this time, she impersonates Alice on both the quantum and classical channels. Bob has no reason to suspect anything. He receives photons and sifting messages that appear to come from the real Alice, but every bit of information actually comes from Eve. This allows Eve to obtain Bob's bases and measurement results, completing the second fake key exchange. Now we can see the full impact of the man-in-the-middle attack. Eve holds Alice's sifted key, and she also holds Bob's sifted key, both of them perfectly matching. Alice and Bob believe they've established a secure shared key, but in reality, they each shared their key with Eve, not with each other. With both keys in hand, Eve can decrypt, modify, or forge any messages they exchange, and the attack goes completely undetected unless authentication is used. In BB84, every message sent over the classical channel must be authenticated. Without authentication, Eve can intercept the sifting messages, impersonate Alice and Bob, and run two fake key exchanges in parallel. But once Alice and Bob use digital signatures or message authentication codes, Eve can no longer forge or modify any classical messages. Any message that doesn't verify is rejected immediately. With authenticated classical communication, the man in the middle attack fails on the spot. Here are the key points to remember. BB84 uses both a quantum channel and a classical channel and the classical channel must be authenticated. Without authentication, Eve can impersonate both Alice and Bob, run two fake BB84 sessions, and learn the entire key, all while Alice and Bob believe they're secure. But once authentication is applied, Eve can no longer forge or modify any classical messages, and the man-in-the-middle attack fails instantly. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this lesson, go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel. Subscribing takes just a second of time, is free to you, and helps the channel tremendously. Visit specterai.ai for 55 hands-on quantum security labs you can learn by doing, and check out our books on Amazon to go even deeper. Leave a comment and tell us what you want to learn next. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.